Welcome to ChrisDenfordCo.uk Get Going Guides. Uh, this episode we'll be looking at adding CSS and HTML text to your page uh, and some of the things that you can do uh, with those formats. The first thing to do is decide whether you want to start working with a CSS layout by clicking on CSS so it turns blue at the top or you get a tick on your toolbar. If you want to turn it off you can just untick it or, uh, or click up there and it will say table layout for you. We're going to start with a CSS uh, box. The box that we want to put it in is green at the moment so we're going to click on that and draw a box to the page and then we're going to paste in some text. You can just type but I've got some text uh, already there uh, so we can uh, work with it. I've got uh, different colors for the heading and different colors for the box. You can just change these uh, as and when you want. If I want to change the font I can just click here and choose a different font. We are limited to the fonts we can do on the internet because these are available on all the browsers on every machine. So we can just highlight these and make changes to it uh, for whatever uh, purpose we want. So there's a CSS box. We've got a green box with some text in it and then let's uh, preview this in the browser. So we'll have a look at that in Firefox and there we go. We've got a page uh, in the browser. So, close those. So now let's add an HTML box in table layout. So we just turn the CSS off. The box is now blue, so we click on that. And we then just draw another box. And we can click inside, exactly the same as the CSS. And I'm going to paste in some text again. But this time I'm going to change the text here to become a blue color. But I'm going to select my own blue. Uh, by going to other in the color palette and I'm going to choose uh, this blue okay and it changes to blue so then we can see on our layout the um, CSS has the green welcome and the table layout has the blue welcome so let's preview that uh, on Firefox again and there we have it so we can just scroll down and see more text there so that's the difference between CSS and uh, table layout. Uh, the thing with table layout, you get a bit more options of what you can do with it. There's an element within web browsers where some web designers like the page to fit the whole of your web browser window rather than this one, which is alignment centered within it. So what we want to do is if we turn the alignment to none, and then we can turn tables into a rubber banding format. This you can't do with a CSS. If I click on the table box, we've got different tools on the toolbar. Mainly they give borders and background colors, but it's the page one we want. And then it tells me here that this width can grow. So as the browser changes, the width will go through it. And if I go back to the main properties and turn it into a layer, Notice that the color of the box turns green, but the CSS item hasn't appeared. So it's still a table, but uh, it's not using CSS. So when we look at it now, we want to tell it that we want it to be a percentage of the browser window. So rather than being a fixed dimension, which we have down here of 750 pixels, I want to change it to 90% uh, of the page. So here the box changes to the 90% of the page we've got at the moment. But now when we preview it, the text at the bottom will move and change shape according to the width of the browser. So it will still be aligned here on the left, but will only go 90% on the right. So I can make the lines longer or shorter. Some designers like this, some designers don't like this. Uh, it's all a matter of personal preference uh, on whether you like rubber banding. If you like to have a fixed design, then keeping it in a fixed pixels is better. Uh, but if you like to have it rubber banding, then you can put it in percentage measurements on your uh, browser. Now, there are some complications that happen when you mix CSS and tables together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this table CSS box down. I'm going to move the table box up and then I'm going to move 
the table box, uh, the CSS box. Yeah, so I've just swapped the position uh, of the boxes here. So now when I preview this, we can sometimes get some errors. CSS always gives a fixed position of its layout. So it looks fine here, but when I start to rub a band, you can see that you start to get text overlapping. So the CSS is staying in position, but the table is moving and it can cause layout troubles with items to overlap and interfere with each other. So you need to be careful with your, if you're using fixed positions on your page and uh, table layouts on your page because uh, so, it can cause trouble uh, when you come to preview it. So that's it. CSS uh, text and table text, pretty much the same thing, but there's a few more flexibilities on how you can handle the text within the browser. So this is it. Visit me at www.chrislinfordco.uk uh, or you can find me on iTunes or on YouTube.